It's been 22 hours since Trials released. More news about preseason rank changes dev update. And I heard this one is kind of big. So let's see what they have. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremy, also known as Riot Brightman. So, hey folks, I'm Andre, also known as Meddler. Today is August 17th, and we've got a lot to cover. Today is August 29th. Yeah, uh, they're kind of lagging. Today. To start, we want to talk about an update to how we approach ranked each year in League of Legends. Uh -huh. We're going to be moving to three ranked resets per year. And three resets. I mean, two resets was already kind of good, but three, that's even better, not gonna lie. Okay, I guess we'll take that. We want to explain these changes a bit before we hand things over to our game director, Pew Liu, who will talk a bit more about what that entails. Leagues had a year-long ranked structure since the early days. Some of the details have changed a bit over time, but the core's been pretty consistent. Ranked kicks off in January, mm -hmm. and then runs until just after Worlds in November. Yeah, and then people reach their ranks in the February, March. Some of them were struggling in April, May. And afterwards, they're just giving up. They're not playing the game anymore. So what they did is implement a second split, split two. That was in the middle of July, which was actually good because you are getting your grind again. You are looking forward to do something, you know? But free splits, bro, is going to be kind of different. At which point we jumped preseason, we experiment with some gameplay changes. Now, there's a lot we think works well about that. There's a great kickoff to the season moment, there's a clear endpoint, game and esport, have some luck. But I have a question. I mean, if the season is split into three mini seasons, into three splits, how do you see the value in the season as itself? You know, because back then we had a season that lasts entire year, we have a big cinematic, everything is big, everything is huge, you're getting hyped, you have one world championship for that season. Here, these three splits kind of break it down, no? Unless, which is going to be a long shot, unless we're getting a cinematic for every split. Yeah, I'm high on copium anyway. Nice synergy with each other, that sort of thing. But at this point, we're also seeing some opportunity for improvement. One long, gradual climb over 10 months can feel like a real grind, with a long gap until a fresh climb. There's that down period at the end of the year where often a lot of people will want to play ranked and can't. And sometimes it's just a long time until we've got the next window for larger changes to Summoner's Rift gameplay. It's also often unclear when the next, you know, larger changes. Uh, if I remember correctly, they implemented one of the larger changes was the durability patch, and they did it in the middle of the fucking year. So don't pull that shit that, oh no, we need to wait for a new season to pull big shit. No, 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 Riot. We've learned that you're absolutely fucking comfortable by pulling big shit in the middle of the year. So you know. Event or larger update to League is gonna be. Now, this year you will have noticed we tried out a faster ranked climb and a mid-year ranked reset. We think that went well overall. And the- Yeah, I mean, it was well received. I did enjoy it. The faster you climb, the faster you fall. You know, there's a dynamic. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't know if you're going to be silver, you don't know if you're going to be fucking gold, you don't know if you're going to be platinum. Or if you're platinum, you don't know if you're going to end the day being bronze. Because how fast the change is happening because back in the previous uh, version of rank season where we had uh, one season throughout the entire year and the lp gains remember chat we're talking also about the changes to the lp gains you were getting plus 5 lp minus 4 lp sometimes if you were lucky you were getting plus 15 lp minus 10 lp so it would take also we had uh, the provisional games that were 10 of those also we had uh, free games between divisions so if you are gold 4 you want to gold free you need to win best out of free yeah we had that as well that was also slowing the climb so there is that that there's opportunity to create more moments for gameplay changes that can tie in with other things going on in the league ecosystem so with all that set up here's Pooh to talk through some more information on these changes mm -hmm. hey everyone i'm pew aka pew pew lasers and today i'm going to take you through some of the upcoming changes we're making a preseason and ranked splits in league of legends as mentioned we're moving into a three rank split per year structure with resets between each one this should hopefully result in more impactful games and a faster climb for each split, and it also means you'll have the opportunity to earn three ranked skins each year. Faster climb, but also faster fall, you know? Don't forget the other side of the coin. Part of the change to this model is taking a look at preseason. Past preseasons have gone on to PBE in early October, giving players a lot of time to explore and learn the gameplay changes that will- Yes, yeah, now that I think about it, the preseasons lasted four months at least yeah october november december january and the season starts in the february so yeah straight up four or five months of just pre-season and no one is taking rank seriously because it's pre-season yeah you are just a bit of your mmr but this doesn't mean sh you know during those five months no one is taking rank seriously so maybe this will change it that will be featured for the coming year the flip side is that by the time the new season starts the gameplay changes no longer feel new 
In other words, the time in which players are most excited to play with the new changes and the time in which players are allowed to and excited to start their rank climb were not aligned with each other. So this year, and in each year moving forward, we're planning to have preseason hit PBE in mid-November with an official release in January of 2024 on the same patch that ranked in esports play begins. Mm -hmm. The current rank split will stay live through November and December of this year, giving players more time to get to their desired rank. Now, this is a new approach and does carry some risks, so we're going to have to be really on top of it in terms of the balance and the meta at the start of each split. We think the trade-offs are really worth it, and we're excited to start 2024 off with a bang. If you'd like to learn more, we've got a dev blog on this topic that's live now. In terms of what's in preseason, we have a lot of changes that we're working on. We're looking at terrain adjustments to parts of Summoner's Rift, changes to map objectives, and significant modifications to the item system, some of which I'd love to share with you today. Item system, okay, terrain, so we're changing the map a bit, okay, but are we talking about changing the map entirely like we had an update of the map when we got the mountain drake or when we got the drakes? Also, item systems, I'm interested in that. Earlier this year, we said that we weren't really happy with how mythic items landed, and that we- Yeah, mythic items were dog shit, especially when you decided to make Infinity Edge as a mythic item and remove f***ing invisibility from Dustblade. And I'm pretty sure, uh, not Gorging or Stratebreaker had that dash. We had a good thing, then you decided to remove it. So yeah, we're not happy with it as well. That we were open to removing the system entirely if the changes implemented didn't bring us closer to where we wanted it to be. What? And well, they didn't. So starting in January of 24, mythic items will be removed from League of Legends. Yes! About fucking time. Actually, Riot finally doing something good. God bless. Took them only 14 years. Good job, Riot. Trying to serve the needs of a bunch of different champions in a class with a few mythic items has proven to be really challenging. Which means I'll be able to buy fucking Infinity Edge, finally. Because right now, I am forced to either go Dustblade, either you go Gale Force, or you go Infinite Edge. I need Edge in my builds. Riot, good cut, no more limited to any build, true that. And while it works pretty well for about half the roster, the other half is left with items that don't feel really right for them or have their mm -hmm. creativity stifled. While the Mythic Item tier will be removed, we will be adjusting current Mythic items that players really like to be exciting options rather than prescriptive centerpieces. So, how about we bring back invisibility to Duskblade? Because that was the only exciting item in the game. Just saying. So that means you can go back to buying Infinity Edge with Trinity Force if you'd like. Exactly, that's what I want to do. But instead of the Triforce, we're going Duskblade, we're going Infinity Edge, we're going Collector, we're going Essence Reaver, we are going Mobis, we're going Lord Dom, then we're dropping Mobis, we're getting Yomus. Nice. Can I have 6 Infinity Edge now? Oh, that is the question. What about stacking items? What about 6 Rabadons Vagar? What about 6 Rod of the Ages Labonk in the middle? What about 6 Infinity Edge Garen? No, that was a bit of overkill. Yeah, 4 Infinity Edge, Dev Dance, and Boots. That was the build, yeah. You can learn more about other item changes and everything else we're cooking for preseason when we do the full reveal coming soon. Good. DM. Next up, we also know a lot of you have been waiting for some news on what's up for Arena after the Soulfighter event. No, 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 no. We were waiting for the news as to what's happening to Skarner. Just saying. You know, what's happening with Skarner? It was like, what, five years ago? We decided as a Kim. No, no, not we decided. You, Riot, decided that you know what's going to be fun? If we propose free champions that need a visual update, that need an actual rework, and you propose those free champions, then community decided to vote on it. The options were Shivana, Nocturne, and Skarner. We collectively agreed that Skarner, my boy, needs an update. Then you said, okay, it's going to be good. We've decided Scorpion 1, Skarner 1, all good, and uh, still nothing. Riot. We're really excited about the response to Arena, and we think there's a lot of opportunity to make it even better again. Arena's debut run will end with the Soulfighter event, as previously discussed, mm -hmm. but that's so we can take it down, make a bunch of upgrades to it. So, the game mode team is already underway on that work, and the next version of Arena will drop in early December. Now, for the next version of Arena, what I'm hoping to see is either like the ARAM approach, where you're getting random champions, or you're getting bans, where you can ban champions. That way, we are staying away from the meta. Because if you release a new arena mode without any restrictions, meta will be formed within two weeks. Granted, it's going to hit PBE first. So meta will be created within the PBE. So when it hits live servers, people will start abusing the most OP combinations in the arena and it's going to get stale really fast. We're still figuring out exactly what will be in that update, but we're looking at things like adding a lot more augments to give more game-to-game -game variety, 
improved champion viability. So you can ban champions during the shield. I meant more champions, more bans, more champions, at least three bans. You can have a good time bringing a larger variety of your favorite champions into arena. Some map adjustments and ways of playing with more than just one friend. So on the subject of game modes, while we're taking arena behind the scenes for some updates, we do have another game mode that is finally giving us time to shine again. Earth. There's literally no other mode that makes this game shine. Nexus Blitz is coming back in late October for a five week run. Now we okay, there's Nexus Blitz. Okay, I take it back. There is still a Nexus Blitz. Sure. We know this has been a long time coming, especially because we promised you'd see Nexus Blitz in 2022, and we did not. Yeah, and it's almost 2024, but hey, it is what it is. You also promised us that we will see Skarner rework. We also heard that you will deal with bots in our games somehow in low elos bro there's a single script yumi running around that's still getting to level 30 and then ruining his car running his in the rank games you know not deliver on that now the game plays as you remember it though with a few tweaks to account for changes since its last appearance like the updated jungle items on a different note as we mentioned in a previous dev update we're still also working on improving bot ai to both enhance the new player experience and also make playing against bots feel more like a real game Mm -hmm. But what about we deal with the bots that are not built by Riot, but are actually built by fucking Chinese super farms who are creating accounts and selling them for $2 each. I mean, as a buyer, I'm not complaining. But as a player who's already done leveling and I'm not running into those bots, I'm running into them in the fucking ranked games. How about we address that Riot? We'll be having our first player-facing technical test of the new bots on PBE sometime mm -hmm. next month. Mm -hmm. We're currently focusing our bot work on helping new players learn the game. Also, hear me out chat, speaking of fun modes and bots, what about Doom bots? Said it before, saying it again. Riot, where is my f***ing Doom bots? That was fun. So these bots are deliberately intra-level at the moment. We expect most of you to crush them easily, but we'd still love your feedback on how they look and feel. And check out the dev blog that just went live today for more info on how to do that. Okay, that's nearly it for us from today. Next time we talk to you, We'll cover our new champions and champion updates, including Skana, who's still on track for a release early next year. That it is. On track early next year. So early, we're taking the first half of the year. That's considered early. That's the first half, you know? That's early. So, the end of May. Quote me on that. The end of May, we will see Skardner. Before then, though, you'll also see Jax's visual and audio update, which will be revealed sometime mid to late September. At least we're getting something. At least we're getting Jax, you know? And if you want more details, don't forget to check out the dev blogs on the rank changes and ongoing bot AI development. Fun fact, the newest champion is Briar, no? A child. And then a Jax getting an update. Coincidence? I think not. Thank you so much for watching. I think thank not. You. Hey, thank you.